my name is Ika and you're watching Pixie and the Notes. Today I would like to start this new kind of series where I talk about samples that I recently tested and I find worth mentioning. So today I want to start with Bois Imperial Light Essential Parfums. This fragrance seems to pop up on my Instagram feed quite a lot recently. It was released in 2020 and this is usually a thing that gets me rather discouraged from uh, testing a fragrance, but then I learned that this fragrance is compared to Ganymede by Marc Antoine Barrois. And I really, really got uh, interested in that. And then I learned that both fragrances were actually created by the same perfumer, Quentin Bish, whom I really, really appreciate. Um, he created my beloved uh, Chloe Nomad. Uh, so, <laughs> I just destroyed my um, sample. Whew. Okay, so I already have like a dry down on my um, uh, left hand and I'm gonna spray um, the opening to get reminded and yeah the verdict is yes both fragrances are quite similar with certain differences so Ganymede, Ganymede is this mineral airy leathery immortal concoction uh, that is extremely potent and very, very different. It has this kind of wet, mineral, cosmic feel about it. And I was really curious if this, I will find the same thing in Bois Imperial. And the beginning, the opening is completely different. So it opens with this dry, molecular, molecular uh, woodsiness, uh, almost like this iso e super kind of woodsiness. Um, and very prominent earthiness. But then after like 30-40 minutes, they become very, very similar. Um, Bois Imperial is a little bit less mineral and airy. It is more condensed, so it doesn't have this airiness um, to it. But the overall smell is very similar and I find it very fascinating to see how the same perfumer using completely different set of ingredients I'll feature the the ingredients somewhere here of both fragrances achieved a very similar uh, effect uh, another difference that I get is that Bois Imperial it develops more so the opening is a little bit different than the dry down and the ending are um, like this this fragrance develops while Genemy stays pretty linear so what you get in the beginning you get at the very end as well but the main difference is the the volume level Bois Imperial is definitely more mellow and tamed down more wearable uh, because I heard a lot of people complaining that the Ganymede is too strong and too overpowering. This is a beast. So I think Bois Imperial might be a very good, cheaper, more budget friendly version of Ganymede for those who struggle with the strength of Marc Antoine Brouard offering. Uh, overall, I find this um, a very successful and nice uh, release. I might even get like 10 ml bottle for myself because I, I, I really enjoy the smell. Let me know if you have tried um, Bois Imperial and what your thoughts are and see you next time. Thanks for watching.